Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Randy. Thanks for joining me again for another video. And in today's video, I'm doing another fragrance haul for you guys. And this time, it's my first time ever trying out Marshalls. Normally, I go to Burlington or TJ Maxx. But this time, I was out in a different area and I was getting a massage. I stopped at Ulta, stopped at Sephora. Didn't have anything I really wanted to pick up. So I decided to try out Marshalls because I've heard a lot about it. So I will put a video up here on the screen, and as you can see, it is mostly Burberry, Boss, Nautica, Mont Blanc, pretty much the, all the ones that you see normally. But in the clearance section, it was weird because it had all of the fragrances that were not marked down from the regular section, and they were all in the clearance section, all marked down. Like they had Starwalker Extreme for $20, they had Hugo Reverse for 10, yet those were about 30 or 50 in the other section. So today I picked up two, one I've had before a long time ago and I wanted to re-get it and one that I've never tried but it got good reviews. So this one is Tommy Bahama and it is St. Bart's and they say online it's Set Sail St. Bart's. The other one is Nautica Voyage. So I just showed you the box. The St. Bart's is an Eau de Cologne spray, that's not good. And the other one is an Eau de Toilette. So the Nautica Voyage is Eau de Toilette. I'll start out with the Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's, and this is what the bottle looks like. It's a little cheap. The, I mean, it's blue, has a palm tree on the back, plastic cap, and like a little uh, boat rope around the, uh, the cap there, but it's pretty cheap itself. And the top notes here are lime, tequila, sea notes, and agave. The mid notes are salt, guava, and green notes, and the base notes are palm leaf, vanilla, and musk. So let me spray this on here. So as you can see, I already have it outside the box. I've already sprayed this one on my hand and I'll be honest with you, the fragrance is actually pretty good, the smell of it. Um, what I don't understand is it got a lot of comparisons to uh, Virgin Island water from Creed and I don't see that at all. And just because it has lime in the opening I can see the lime, but it's more of a synthetic lime, but it does smell pretty good, but it doesn't smell anything like Virgin Island water. And I don't believe this deserves a 4.2 or a 4.3 like it got on Fragranica. Yeah, so the opening here is citrusy. It's very citrusy from that lime. Then you get a lot of salt and you get some aromatics in there as well. And you really don't need to know much more from this fragrance other than you get a little bit of fruit in there. But I actually didn't realize when I first bought this, this is an Eau de Cologne, but it really does last. This fragrance, I would probably give it like a seven or 7.5 normally out of 10, uh, but it only, I, I went to the store, I sprayed it on my hand as soon as I left. I stopped at Starbucks and a couple other places on the way home. An hour and a half later when I got home, it was gone, completely gone. So if you guys do pick this up, I got this for 10 bucks. If you do pick it up, I do recommend that you spray either a lot on or you take like a travel atomizer full of it with you because it is a great fragrance. It's a citrusy fragrance, fruity, aromatic, salty, but it doesn't last long at all. The longevity is terrible. I'd give it like a three out of 10, maybe two hours at max. And that, that's given some. So I would give this fragrance probably a five or a six out of 10, just based on the fact that the longevity is terrible. Second off, we have Nautica Voyage. So this is a fragrance that is cheap. It's always going to be cheap. It always has been pretty cheap since probably mid 2000s at least. Top notes are apple, green leaves. The mid notes are lotus and mimosa, which you don't see that very often. And the base are musk, cedar, oak moss, and amber. Uh, so this is a great blind buy. This fragrance is one of those fragrances, it's a very aquatic fragrance. It's crisp, it's, it's nice, it's just, it's really, it's just an aquatic green, and uh, aromatic aquatic fragrance that if you're going to the pool or you're going to the ocean or you're going somewhere during the summer and you just want a nice, clean, fresh fragrance that smells aquatic, this is the one that you're gonna pick up. You're gonna find it for probably 10 bucks at uh, TJ Maxx, at, Burlington, pretty much anywhere you look, but this is a great staple and a great blind buy just to pick up for a random pull. If you don't want to smell too strong, 
but it does for an eau de toilette it probably lasts five hours six hours and for nine dollars that's great and it's it doesn't smell synthetic it just smells nice and fresh it smells like a normal nautica fragrance it's just it's a great pickup and so i would definitely recommend that over the set sail saint bart's this is more just one of those that you would wear if you're like on a cruise or something like that. You wanted something only for an hour or two or unless you took a travel atomizer with you. But out of the two, Nautica uh, Voyage is definitely a good pickup. If you want something cheap, that is a good wear, especially in the summer. If you're going on vacation, I would definitely take it with you. It's just a great pull when you're around the water for sure. But if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I will be going to TJ Maxx. I'm actually going to a big mall tomorrow, so I'll be around Nordstrom Rack and all that. And I'll be coming back with a bunch more rack stores. So you guys have a great day and make sure you like, subscribe and comment.